So friends, today we would like to solve a problem based on variable loading on a beam. So let me first show you the problem in which there is a beam AB which is a hinge supported point A and a roller supported point B is subjected to a variable loading of intensity W equals to A minus BX square Newton's per meter. So we have to find the support reaction of this beam for the given condition of loading. So you can see here at point A we have load intensity of 2400 newtons per meter while at point B we have the load intensity of 1200 newtons per meter. Since point A is hinge support and point B is roller support and there is no inclined load acting on the beam there shall be two support reactions acting at point A and point O respectively. So let me find out the support reaction. In the expression of support reaction, the value of A and B is not known to us. So we shall first find out the value of A and value of B. So let me first draw the free body diagram of the beam. So we have a beam here and this beam is having a variable load given by W equals to A minus B x square. So and there shall be two support reactions acting at this first end point and this second end point. So these are two support reactions, vertical support reaction acting on the beam and the span of the beam is 6 meter. So the load intensity we know that the load intensity is W equals A minus B x square which is given over here and this is the point A of the beam, this is the point B of the beam. So this support reaction is what we call as RA and this support reaction we call as RB. In order to find out the value of A and B we have the information with us that is load intensity at point A is given as 2400 newtons per meter while the load intensity at point B is 1200 newtons per meter. The x is the distance from point A you take any section so its distance point from point A is x. So now you know that at point A x is going to be equal to 0 meters while at point B x is going to be 6 meters because the beam span is 6 meter. So we have the information that when x equal to 0 meters load intensity is 2400 newtons per meter. When x equal to 6 meter we have load intensity as 1200 newtons per meter. So I can use that information. So we have the expression for load intensity which is A minus B x square at x equal to 0 we have load intensity which we call as WA and that is equal to 2400 newtons per meter. So if I substitute the value of x here it will be 0 and WS 2400 so you will get A equals 2400 and similarly when we have x equal to 6 meters we get the load intensity as WB which is equal to 1200 newtons per meter. So if you substitute that in the equation you will get 1200 equals A is 2400 already we have got minus B times X value of X is 6. 6 square is 36 so 36 B is going to be 1200. So if you solve this friends, you shall be getting the value of B as 33.33. So we got value of A here and we got value of B here. So once we got the value of A and B, now we got the expression for W as 2400 minus 33.33 x square. So this is the expression for W we are going to use now. So once we got the expression of W now, we wanted to find out the value of uh, RA and RB. So in order to find RA and RB, first we shall find out the net effect of variable loading. So let me assume that the net effect of this variable loading on the beam is acting at some distance. So let's say this is the net effect of variable loading. So I'm going to call this WR, that is the resultant effect of variable loading. And let's assume that it is acting at distance XR 
from point A. So now in order to find out the support reaction at point A and point B, we shall be only considering the net effect of variable loading. And the net effect of variable loading is we already discussed in previous videos, so kindly go through it. So if I consider a thin strip of length dx, so on this thin strip, there will be low, constant load intensity acting, that is W will be constant approximately on that. So if I find the area of this thin strip, that will be small loading acting on dx. And if I integrate that from A to B, I will be getting resultant of the variable loading acting on the beam. So that is, we have already discussed in the previous video. So let me do that here. So I shall be finding out, so now we would like to find out the resultant load due to variable loading on the beam. So in order to find the resultant load, we need WR, that is the resultant load and then its distance. So WR is given by the expression, kindly go through the previous videos. So WR is given by integration from A to B, the load intensity times dx, which is this load intensity W times thickness dx, so this area and then that will integrate. That will be from x at point A, x equal to 0, while at point B, x equal to 6, intensity is 2400 minus 3.33 x square and that into dx. So if I integrate this, I will get the value of the net load of the variable loading acting on the beam. So I will find out this. So if you solve this integration, you will get value of resultant load as 14160.02 newtons. Now similarly, we would like to find out the distance of the location of, similarly we would like to find out the location of the resultant load acting from point A. So that is given by this expression XR equals integration A to B. So in this case we take moment of the small load acting on dx and that we divide by the total load acting on it. So this we already covered in previous video, just go through it. So we will take first moment of small load that is W dx and that we divide by resultant load that is W dx. So if I simplify this, you will get at point A x equal to 0, at point B x equal to 6. Now x times now intensity W we got as 2400 minus 3.33 x square times dx and that divided by a into b w dx but a into b w dx already we have calculated which is 14160 so friends when you solve this integration and divide by 14160 you should you shall get the value of xr as 2.1.97 5 meters from left hand support from point A. So value of XR is going to be 2.975 meters from point A. Okay. So this way we have found the value of the net effect of variable loading and its distance from point A. Now we would like to find out the support reaction RA and RB. So friends, in order to find the support reaction at point A and point B, I am going to consider again the same free body diagram. Now here we got the value of XR and WR. So value of XR and WR are, so if you look at in the previous slide, so value of uh, WR is 14160. So it is 14160.02 Newtons. I'll write down here and the value of XR is if you see here the previous slide 
So this value XR is nothing but 2.975 meters. So having all these values, now in order to find support duration, I am going to consider the condition of static equilibrium. So I will do condition of static equilibrium. We know the summation of forces in the vertical directions are balanced by condition of static equilibrium. We shall be getting summation of forces in the vertical direction, that we call y direction, 0. So all the upward forces must be equal to downward forces. So from here you will be getting R A plus R B equals the downward forces, net force, which is the effect of the variable loading, which is 14160.02 newtons. So this is one equation we got. Let me call this as equation number 3. By condition of static equilibrium, we have summation of forces balance in vertical and horizontal direction as well as moment about point A and point B also balance. Okay, so I can take therefore summation of moment of forces about point A is also balance that is 0. So if I take moment about point A, you will be getting the clockwise moment due to WR. So WR into XR. So we are going to do it clockwise. WR times XR which is clockwise moment friends. So I have taken it as positive and due to RB you will be getting anti-clockwise moment that is minus 6RB that is RB times 6 meters and that is going to be 0 because the moment of RA about point A is going to be 0 because its distance from point A is 0. So we shall be getting this equation only. This is anti-clockwise moment so I have taken it negative. So if I simplify this I shall be getting RB equals WR is 14160.02 into X that is XR is how much? XR is 2.975 and that divided by 6 therefore you get RBS 7020.2 Newtons and if I substitute this value of RB in equation 3 I will get the value of RA therefore RA is going to be equal to 14160 minus 7020.2 and that value is going to be 7140.006 so this way you can find out now by using so friends we got the value of support reactions RBS 70 20.2 Newton and RAS 7140.006 Newtons. So this way you can find out the support reaction for variable loading on the game. Thank you very much.